<laughs> what are you, Gareth Claus? <laughs> Welcome, Questioners! Ho, 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 door! Happy holidays, one and all. We're so glad you could take time out of your busy holiday schedule to join us for this uh, talk about RPG holidays and festivals. Hold the door! If you're looking for adventure, excitement, thrills, and a dice-rolling good time, sit back and enjoy the next few minutes with Quest Givers DM Scotty and DMG. They're taking you on an epic journey through the role-playing experience every Friday. Learn the ways of the Game Master, the Dungeon Master, and delve into the minds of the players. Grab the modules each month to support the channel and play the campaign with your gaming group. You're sure to get hooked on adventure. If you're looking for an interesting present for Christmas, or whatever a holiday you may find interesting in your part of the world, be sure to check out questgivers.com, where there's a whole loot bag of interesting purchasable items to help support these fine gentlemen. This gentleman here, and oh yes, um, that other gentleman is not here at the moment. <laughs> yeah, what I like Ho 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 Door is that <laughs> festivals can really add a dynamic element to your RPG. So, you know, just a kind of a boring jaunt to the markets, you know, it's just kind of, you know, doesn't not necessarily that interesting. But when you have a festival going on, they're having to fight crowds, you know, people are not acting how they normally act. Uh, you know, they're more receptive, they're more, you know, outgoing, uh, maybe they're trying to hawk things to you and this kind of thing. So it can really make it interesting and add a lot of flavor to, you know, a particular uh, adventure that you're in. Uh, you don't want to do this for, you know, all, all the time. It's like a lot of things, it, you know, use in moderation is good, but uh, it can really spice up just the kind of the average journey to the market and uh, make it more interesting. Yes, I am a dynamic character who changes the world around him. Look, they even do news broadcasts about how long it takes me to fly across the world delivering gifts to would-be adventurers. One key aspect when you are doing these things, we're traveling through foreign lands and doing all kinds of weird and wonderful things in your role-playing game, is obviously people want to acquire things. And when you create a nice market atmosphere, it, there's more things to acquire. I come with a sack full of goodies, and that's because I went to a merchant who was a very nice man, a nice friend of mine, who gives me lots of goodies to give to the children. Yes, I love the children. Not in that way, just, you know, I love giving things to the children. Another aspect of a festival or holiday can be, you know, there's more people traveling, there's more people out on the road. You know, in, a, in kind of a medieval society, there's not gonna be a lot of people on a road, right? Unless it's like a main trade fair or a trade through, you know, road, there may be more people on it. But even so, even if it is, there's gonna be even more people on it. And you can meet all kinds of interesting people who are going to the festival. And you can add, di you know, different side quests or side plots like that. In our adventure, um, we have a particular uh, interesting woman, <laughs> the loyalist. We have a, an interesting woman that you run into, uh, this old woman, and she is a, a you know a quite uh, a fun character that you can interact with. So, but there's you know you can also have you know in your own games you can have lots of different uh, types of characters. You know some may be uh, you know trying to steal from the players or, or have nefarious purposes. Often they're just fun, flavorful people that just add spice to the game. Your interesting people, the non-player characters, when you meet them in your fabulous new world, this is going to give you a lot of hooks and other goodies that the players enjoy immensely. I know I put a lot of hooks in my bags. The children don't like the fishing hooks, but the older, older kind do, uh, on occasion, like to have some of these narrative hooks that I as an NPC provide in abundance. 
You know, and think about how many action movies you've seen where there are is some kind of festival going on, some, some you know something interesting like that uh, going on in the background while you know the action is happening around this or trying to get past it. You know, there's there's different you know th things going on for the festival, and you know it's blocking the way. You got to make another choice, or you know maybe the players are getting close, and you know there's something else that blocks your way, and you got to you got to take another turn, or you know people don't realize they're getting in the way because they're celebrating and that kind of thing. So that can uh, be a fun aspect of those kind of things too, that it, it acts like kind of a hindrance or a complication to the encounters that are happening you know, at that particular place. Yes, and when you have an interesting character such as myself, a level 20 thief who's able to get into any abode anywhere in the world, then you will know that great NBC interaction can happen in these festivals of delight around the world. Now, I'm quite light on my feet, even though I am a chubby individual, but I have some magical beasts that allow me to travel through the wilds of this wonderful land. And of course, it's, I'm starting to swallow <coughs> my beard here, but it's better that I smell the smells of the world and find out more about the world through the actions of the players and that I get more involved and I get more information to the characters because I am present in these wonderful festivals that take place in the villages around the world. Or so I am. Another interesting thing about the festival is the players can learn about the society through the festival, right? You know, why are they celebrating? What, what does this festival have to do with? Is it, is it, you know, with gods or is it with some kind of, you know, victory that the nation had at a certain point or whatever? Now, in our uh, module, the, the Loyalists, we have two factions who are fighting and it definitely has to do, you know, with that. So it's, it's an interesting backdrop, not just, you know, trying to navigate the thing, you know, and that kind of thing, but, but also like learning information about what's going on and what side are you going to, you know, end up being, you know, being with or, or you know, do you trust? What side do you trust? Uh, and that's another way to learn information about what's going on. Yes, it's very important to also consider when you're adding your NPCs in these wonderful festivals that they're not one-dimensional Coca-Cola advertisement characters. They have some depth and history to them and they actually are, have different names. My names are different all over the world. I have different colored beards. I have different colored clothes. I don't normally wear black with a smashing icon on the front that is available from questgivers.com. No, sometimes I am in a weird red suit that makes me highly visible and people take pot shots at me. All right, ho, 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 door. What would you say about a character being directly related to the festival? Do we have that something like that in our module? Yes. Well, when you have a read of the module of the, the, the loyalists, we, we do have certain elements that are important. Now, the festival itself is the beginning of a period that will play out through the rest of the modules. And you'll find out in the third module, the messenger in the woods, which is not me, because I, I'm not messengerish. I'm a man who brings presents to small children. <laughs> I, I, you need to think about how does this festival create various different elements in your campaign. Things like time. Is this a time marker? Did you have a story that said, by the time this festival rolls around, will there be something interesting that happens or occurs? Or is this festival the beginning of something interesting that will happen later on? Very important. That's why I figure as a totem, I embody certain parts of festivals around the world. The gift of giving. It's important to give things. Give your players information, subtly, directly, or even indirectly. 
So yeah, like uh, the festival is like a marker, right? And uh, I think it's great because it's a memorable event, right? It's a memorable RP event, but it marks something important that is happening in the shadows of the, you know, the arc of the module, right? So it's really cool when the players realize that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna easily remember it because they the whole festival was surrounding that, right? And you know, if it's something that you mention in passing, right, that they may not, they may be like, oh, they forgot it or they didn't write it in their journal or whatever, and they, you know, it just it, it skips their mind. But if you know the whole festival is going on, you know, around the whole module thing they're gonna to tend to remember that. So I think it's a cool that it's like a marker for an important event in the campaign itself. And why is my winter festival remembered by so many? Why do people even refer to me hundreds of years later? I am an important character that forms a basis from which people can tell stories um, and create from. That is important for memorabilia. 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 Remember. Remem I'm just admiring your beard. You have a fascinating beard, young man. Not as good as mine, but fascinating nonetheless. I, I could do with more hair. You, see, you have a fabulous... What do you use? I, I have some presents I have to go and deliver. So I'm just going to take my reindeer and uh, I'm double parked. I'll, I'll see you next year. Goodbye, ho 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 door. Goodbye. It's ho 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 door. See you next year. <laughs> so with that, happy Festivus everybody and to all a good night. Also make sure to check out uh, questgivers.com where we have our new module, The Loyalists, which has to do with this festival activity. And uh, make sure that uh, you get hooked on adventure with Quest Givers. See you soon. Goodbye. Happy holidays. Oh, oh, oh.